Hi friends, hope you are doing great today and today we would be discussing about the customer service module of Dynamics CRM. Customer service module plays an important role for any of the organization who selling of the products. So what exactly happens is, in today's world, it's the service which helps an organization to grow. The service could be the post sales service that is you have bought a product and you are facing certain challenges to it. And now you want to avail the services out of it. Services could be a repair, a replacement or anything. So let's take an example with a day to day life that is a banking product. So let's say you bought a credit card from a Citibank and your Citibank credit card is working all good. But for some day or some reason, it is you are facing a challenge with it. Now, what are the different ways you would be seeking assistance from the bank? The seek the ways could be like you would be either going to the website of the bank either you would be seeking through a phone call that i want i am this i am mr sumit and i have this credit card with this all information and i am facing these challenges out in there it could be a way out you would be dropping a text message or a chat box or at times you would be just dropping an email and all these things would be taken care by an executive who would be working on the background so what exactly happens is let's say you try to reach the organization through an email the moment the email would be received by the organization there would be certain automated processes which would generate a ticket the ticket based upon the like your customer type your product type your sla entitlements it would be allocated to an agent now this ticket would be sitting in somewhere a common group for those particular people who are working on those particular type of tickets. Let's say you have raised a ticket for a fraud. So you your ticket would be sent to a group of people who work specifically for the fraud transactions on credit card. From there, the people based upon their availability, the executives based upon the availability, the support executive would be picking up that ticket and would be trying to help you out that that's a way a general process and something similar help occurs in or something similar can be configured in terms of dynamic CR so if you can see on the first thing is we have a preferred customer for availing the services definitely you have to be part of an organization you need to have a maintain a relationship with the organization the relationship could be like you have bought the services from the product from the owner or the company in the past or you have purchased some product from them and now based upon your uh, customer id or customer registered phone number registered email you would be sending out them a request that you need an assistance over it the case would be created in the application and it would be sitting in a common bucket wherein multiple people would be having access to it now based upon the entitlements SLAs of yours an agent would be picking up that ticket would be picking it up and would be placing it in his bucket so that he would be working over it now let's say it's a telephonic call so he would be picking up your phone call would be the ticket would be auto assigned to that agent and over the call based upon your queries and concerns they would be going through certain knowledge based articles which would have been prepared by the organizational specialist people out in there so that he can help you out to resolve that query now there could be two things the case cannot be resolved and it needs to be escalated to higher group or to a expert group or at times they would be able to assist you with the resolution of the ticket and once the ticket would be resolved then it would be you would be receiving an email or anything out in there any type of notification out in there this is a basic customer case resolution flow in any of the application and something similar is being offered by Microsoft for all of us. So there are multiple ways out in there. Now, what are the real time scenarios? Like first and the most important would be like you could be facing a challenge with any of the products which which you have bought from the organization. And then we would be the organization would be helping you to identify the real cause of it, resolving it and everything out in there. Once the issue has been resolved, definitely you would be receiving a survey link so that the organization would be able to 
like get a feedback from you so that based upon your feedback they would be able to prepare or train their executives in better ways so let's say you had faced certain challenges you were not able to communicate your problem to the executive or the executive was not able to find an article or he was not able to assist you over it so based upon this all feedback they would be designing their material accordingly and the most important is the proactive support now in this trending world in this trending world like wherein the ch things are changing at a faster pace we have multiple ways out in there in which we can seek assistance from an organization the organization would be the first and the most important is the mobile phone therein we can be having some apps which has been designed by the organization itself let's say in your credit card app there is a link or a button to seek support or chat functionalities out in there at times when people are really frustrated with the customer support they do post on the social media and this information has to be pulled out from social media to dynamic crm so that they can be assisted over at times organizations also publish a well a defined well defined list of all the concerns which can be faced by the people which can be faced by the people so that they can read through it they can get themselves assisted at times there are iot integrations which need customer service support let's say uh, this is not applicable to our credit card example but let's say you bought a car and that has that comes up with an iot device which has been attached to the engine of the car and based upon the performance of the car this iot device keeps on sending signals to an azure hub now this azure hub keeps on analyzing the data and if it seems that there is some challenges like let's say the engine is getting overheated at times the engine is not performing as expected it would auto create a ticket a case or an incident in dynamics and this incident can then would be allocated to a concerned team so that they can get in touch with you and can assist you over a phone call or they can schedule an appointment so that you can you have to visit an organization in there now what are the most important core components of uh, like of this service module in dynamic crm there are three main drivers for it the first and the most important driver is the customer which could be your account or a contact out in there like let's say it could be your specifically you who is facing your problem or as an account you want to report that problem to them now once this problem is reported that is logged into the application as a case or an as an incident this is most basic record which is created in the application that is a case out in there because this case would be your tracker so usually what happens is when you raise a ticket when we get a ticket raised in the application so the case number is generated and based upon this case number we calculate each and everything like when this case was generated when it was resolved what was the major challenge what are the knowledge articles which have been used to assign to or which has been used to resolve this case and all those information are tracked based upon the case and there is most important the other thing is the activity out in there activity means all the interactions which are happening between the end customer and our team let's say that could be an email activity that is where an email has been sent by the customer and we are responding back to the email that could be a phone call activity that could be a chat activity or at times there could be mails like hard copies which are being received from multiple customers over which we need to work upon apart from it we do have entitlements slas we call it as service level agreements and the knowledge base now what exactly is an entitlement entitlement means what type of request are you allowed or what type of things or service are you entitled for let's say you are using a credit card from city bank and you are entitled for raising three fraud request in an year and that those three request could be raised either through chat box either through text message or a phone call so you are entitled for this type of services and sla means sla that is service level agreement it is the level of service that a customer has agreed like let's say what exactly happens is the moment you would raise a request you would be expecting a response within 12 hours or your ticket has to be updated within 3 hours or you need to be responded 
within two hours based upon the priority of the ticket. So this is something like an agreement. So what exactly happens is whenever an organization, let's say you work for an organization X. So all the people who are working from with organization X are corporate account and they have a privilege to raise or they are entitled to raise 15 requests in an year which means 15 requests through 15 different channels in an year and SLA would be that it has to be responded by the organization within 4 hours and has to be resolved in 12 hours. Now what exactly is a knowledge base? So knowledge base is something the executives would be using. It is a set of documentation or the material which is being developed by the technique by the experts in the organization so that anyone who is working on the ticket at that instant of time can check what exactly could be a resolution to it if it has been phased if it has been phased by anyone in the past let's say a fraudulent fraudulent uh, transaction so for a fraudulent transaction the executive has to take all these steps let's say he has to first block your card he has to alert the like the transaction the ex transaction team and he has to respond you back with a new card issued within couple of days so these are the things which would be like um, in the knowledge base so that he doesn't misses out any of the steps which he need to follow while resolution uh, while working with you over the ticket which you have raised with them now we do have few of the things like other things like queue assets and services now what exactly is a queue that is always always a confusion among the people so let's so queue is something like a virtual container so what exactly happens is let's say in Citibank there are 10 executives who are working on all the fraud and cases so what will happen is every ticket which is coming for a fraud transaction would be added to this queue now this queue would be having 10 members out in there who can pick up these cases, can work upon these cases and then once they have worked upon, they have resolved it, they can drop it back into the queue, into the same container. So if you can take up a take up an example, let's say when we wait for a cab, when we wait for a bus at a terminal, we usually are on a queue that is first come first serve, serve basis but at the same time based upon the availability of the cab and who which cab wants to take up which executive to their destination so it's a it's a way in which all the executives would be able to see the ticket has come and this ticket is of this type and based upon their availability they would be able to take it ahead with them and the services exactly what type of the services which should be offered to you in the in the organization like which type of services you have to enroll from it at times uh, we do have an assets so assets are the devices or the physical things which a customer is holding that is an account or a contact is holding and at time this is used for iot also like this is used with a combination of internet of things wherein we would be having certain logic certain chips installed in your iot in your device in your assert which would be responding to the signals and then would be capturing the data which could be used for analysis at further pace now i would be taking you towards a typical customer journey and we would be discussing that post that we would be switching over to a live a dynamic crm instance of customer service so a usual customer, a uh, usual scenario for a typical customer support journey as depicted in my PPT is first and the most important thing is the customer looks for looks for a self-assisted support support that it tries to log into their account or something or the portal of the organization so that they can go through the questionnaires or the things which they want to raise. Let's say for a fraud. Uh, fraud uh, transaction there would be certain steps that they should block their card at once they should not share the details all the transactions should be blocked everything in there so usually organizations maintain it on their website or a customer portal now once this part has been uh, like has been completed usually customer tries to send out an email to the bank or a phone call or at times they drop a test text message or chat 
to the executives or to the bank that they are facing this particular type of challenge based upon the email which is being received we do have a automated rules which can be configured by us in the background and these automated rules will help so as to create a case automatically and based upon the uh, like the title of the email based upon the customer we would be able to pull out the information and based upon its entitlement and sla we would be adding it to a specific queue wherein the executive can start working over it the moment this case is generated is created in the application it now it becomes the responsibility of the agent to work over it and the agent at times will start working and they would start sending you an update that they have blocked your card they have taken up all these actions out in there but for doing all these things but for doing all these things in the background what exactly happens is they have to use the knowledge base that is they have to use the power of the knowledge base which has been created by their seniors in the organizations by the specialists so that they are not missing out any of the information which needs to be shared with you and once everything goes well then they they have to resolve this case that is they have to update this case as a resolved case and once the case has been resolved usually these days what we do is we send out your text message that hey mr x or hey mr sham from from this organization from this account i would i would request you to kindly fill in a survey about your experience and based upon your survey whatever the feedback you are sharing we design the material for upcoming discussions upcoming cases so that that could be, bring more value to the organization the better the feedbacks we start receiving the better the way the organization feels that they have groomed their customer support who is assisting their existing business in a positive manner way out now i would be flipping over to the crm like to the crm instance and i would be taking you first towards different tables which are available and then we would be going through a a typical scenario wherein we would have received a case and this case is flowing through multiple channels out in there so let's move ahead from with different other things now the first and the important thing is what exactly is a case and what how and what is the case so case is something a request which has been sent to us by a customer of ours the customer can include anything that is an account or a contact out in there so usually when you would log in into the customer service module you would be receiving all these model driven apps and we have to switch in into the customer service app for now the moment we would be having customer service app then i would be helping you out to understand the customer service workshop at times we do go for an omni channel also but for now i am just taking you towards the customer service hub model driven app now the navigation you have to like uh, you have to consider watching my previous video which i have created about the navigation in dynamic crm so for the customer service hub the first and the important thing is your case the case is the incident which has been raised by the people who are your customers once this case is received then it would be allocated to some queue wherein people would be working over it now once the people would start working over it the support team would start working over it then they would be using knowledge articles so as to work on over this case that is they would be working towards various knowledge articles like uh, which would be helping them to resolve this case now in this case module we do have various other thing like let's say uh, routing rules uh, parent child cases so let's discuss about the parent child cases settings uh, let's let's so parent child cases and then i would be taking you back towards the slide about how to create a case and how to manually manage it so what usually happens is let's say you are you are uh, receiving a fraudulent case fraudulent transaction on your credit card and same type of transactions are being reported by 10 plus customers out in there so in the organization what we do is internally we would be creating all the cases as individual cases but we would tag it to a parent case out in there that is fraud transaction so that whenever we want to send you an update for individual cases we need not to work individually on each and every case we keep on updating the information on the parent case and all the subsequent child cases are updated 
accordingly based upon the configuration let's say we want to send out the case as result so the moment you would resolve the parent case the child cases would be auto resolved now the subjects subjects is a way of grouping your articles like pay uh, like uh, let's say these these are the articles for your fraud and cases these are the articles for a new customer onboarding these are the articles for the deactivation of uh, everything out in there now what exactly is the rule routing rule set routing rule set is a way which you can configure in the application to create or to auto create the cases based upon their scenario so let's say i would be configuring an email like let's say support at the rate of sumitra.com and i would be pulling all those cases like all those emails which would be coming to this particular email id the moment that case or the email has been pulled over based upon some certain scenarios i want to check like what should happen to this case this case should be sent to our uh, like support team to the technical team to what should happen to it all those things can be done in routing rule set we do have a unified streaming a unified routing i would be discussing a unified routing in a short while now service terms which includes your entitlement the services you are entitled for taking from an organization let's say uh, we already discussed about it now holiday schedules like uh, definitely weekends are not a working day for new customer onboarding so we would be marking as holiday schedule so that the cases which are raised on these days will not be breaching any sls because we have not been working on those days now at the same time we have service level agreements what are the agreements which we have uh, like entitled for there is a knowledge base article specifically and then we have insights that is which would be helping us to generate the reports and everything staff everything out in there collaborations that is we can we can uh, send out email chats or notification over microsoft teams to our teams that this particular take type of case has been received the sl is being breached for this case or the manager is raising a ticket for this particular executive that these things are not happening in our application at the same time we have iot uh, internet of things configurations out in there in this video i will not be covering the iot part and then the agent experience that is the most important uh, player out in there that is who would be raising who would be working all those tickets so we would be covering all these areas in our upcoming discussion scheduling depends upon like you have to have scheduling module out in there we have customer service scheduling module specifically for it like let's say for some case which is being received we need to visit the customer's place so we need to have a resource we need to have equipments out in there the facilities out in there and then there is a scheduling board specifically for this and usually instead of implementing the same in customer service hub we usually take take a license a separate license of field service field service module of dynamic crm which helps the organization to perform all those activities let's say based a, a case has been raised for your ac which has been helping you out entire summer and it's not working so as to work on that specific case we would need to have a person with a resource with a specific skill certification security out in there who could be sent over to your location based upon your longitudes and latitudes all those things can be governed in the uh, this uh, resource scheduling module or at times uh, this this is again a very much limited functionalities out in there if you want more descriptive uh, mod like functionalities out in there then we need to switch over to the field service module of dynamic crm so now let's go towards how what are the ways in which a case can be created in dynamic crm and then we would be doing all those activities on our live screen so that it helps you so as to grab more of the knowledge so there are multiple ways in which a case can be created the four the most important the first and the most important i should say is a manual creation of a case you just give a call to an executive the executive keeps on talking to you at the same time they keep on trying the cases out in there for you and they fill in all the required information and other stuff get populated on my form so that they can track it for their purposes now at the same time what exactly happens is there would be multiple other ways so as to create a case the cases could be like existing activities let's say i set up an appointment with you 
or an email is being received from you that hey Sumit I am facing this particular challenge in my application or letters or phone call service activities or task so there are multiple ways out in which a case can be created and again activity is nothing and activity is just an interaction between you and the people who are offering you the services now we do have channel consideration like what are the channels with through which we are receiving a case so now i would be taking you to a specific presentation which helps you so as to understand what could be the ways in which a case can be created automatic till now we have been discussing about the manual now we are discussing about a uh, like a, a automated case creation process in dynamic cr so now i would be discussing about the automatic case creation so usually what happens is whatever the channels you are linking it like usually now these days we use power automate in this so what we do is we keep on using power automate to get triggered whenever there is some facebook comment for our organization or a twitter comment or some request from our uh, portal or an email and we first create an email activity or a concerned activity in dynamic cr so usually we will get this activity created out in there now this activity is associated to uh, automatic creation rules like the routing rule sets which I have not routing rule set there are uh, record creation rule set routing rule sets is something different I would be discussing with you so record creation and update rules based upon that rule it would get triggered and it would create a Dynamics 365 record or a case in the application now once this case has been created then we would be taking it ahead with identification resolution sending back to the customer now there are different tools which can help you so as to resolve a case and i would be showing you all these on my screen while we would be creating a case and everything out in there so again this is on the top it's the process flow business process flow in the middle it is an activity section which would be helping us so as to define what exactly is going at what instant of time then we do have a dashboards out in there i would be uh, sharing with you each and every type of dashboards out in there and these are this is one of the most important aspect that is these are three different stages which are most important that is identify what exactly is a customer who is the contact person in there research on that case and then give a resolution to it now it depends upon organization to organization people from one organization to another and this uh, these stages can be modified based upon your requirement now if you can recall we were discussing about the parent and child cases so parent cases and the child cases it helps us so as to organize organize or update the cases in a more uh, we can say in a more uh, more uh, desired manner let's say we have five cases so we would be associating five cases of similar type to a single parent case and now this parent case on resolution would be updating all the five child cases out in there something similar uh, it can be over uh, like it it is being supported only one level of hierarchy and this configuration can be modified or configured in the application that what should happen to the associated child cases when the top case is being resolved and there are three things which can happen that is none that is nothing should happen or no effect should be happening on the child cases if parent case is closed uh, close all the child cases and one more thing could be there like do not allow to close a parent case until and unless all the child cases are closed this usually happens in the service industry when we are working with the executives who need to offer the services at the at your place let's say for some devices let's say for a refrigerator so in refrigerator let's say you are facing a problem now you call the customer executive guys so they would be raising a case for you a similar case would be raised for some other person and a similar case could be raised for the third person now the executive has to visit all the three places individually to resolve the child cases and once they resolve the child case the parent case can be resolved at times uh, that is most important another aspect in there that is we want to we have received a request from same customer twice one is he called us over a phone call and said said i am i have been receiving an issue with my credit card over a fraud transaction 
he at the same time raised a request through a customer service portal and at the same time at time they simply drop an email to us now what exactly happened is in our application in our application we have received three different cases for the same customer and for the same problem and now the executives are little worried about that in a day they have received 300 cases but if we go to the root cause it's only 100 cases because every case has been raised thrice reporting the same concern so in that scenario we can merge two cases to create a single case and these cases would be interlinked and the uh, the count of the cases would reduce this can happen both for your cost, uh, same content and same account now let's do it all on our screen first and then we would be taking ahead with other discussions out in there i hope you uh, my screen is visible to all though we are recording now this is the view my active all cases on the top you can create new case out in there so first thing is case title let's say uh, case created for YouTube recording. We have, uh, we are like uh, now. If you want to associate it to a specific subject, uh, it's all up to you. To which account or a content you want to associate it. So customer means either you can have all the accounts, or you can have all the contacts, or you can have either of those. So I am uh, uh, taking a Coffee Lab APG. The moment we took it up, the information of Coffee AP Lab. APG has been uh, like updated in the application through how we have received let's say phone which specific product they are looking for the challenge so I am saying they are having a few, uh, issue with your accusations is there any entitlement which we want to associate so we don't have an entitlement in this application at this moment of time and I just simply save this case the moment I save this case there would be few of the things which would be visible to us on our screen like first stage is our identifier then is, is it our research and then followed by our resolve you can see the timeline has been created at the same time cases which are specific to this particular product are also shown in here towards your uh, towards your right side of the screen you can like you can go through the knowledge articles like these are the knowledge articles cases created through a youtube recording so this would be trying to match it and show you the knowledge articles which are really associated to this particular type of case and at times we do have similar cases grid like which can help me to resolve this case now in the details section we have to fulfill other details like this is the case details entitlements uh, if you want to have a parent case, you can create a parent case. Do you want it to be escalated? How, when it has to be escalated on and every information has to be updated. And have we sent a first response? That is, have we acknowledged this case, which depends upon your SLA, which would be helping you to fulfill your SLA. Now, these days, social details of a customer plays an important role. So like let, let's say their Facebook values, their influence score and all this can be configured in the application based upon their email ID or account, we would be able to calculate it in here. Now, whether you want to have uh, similar cases like does this case have a child case? Do you want to merge multiple cases out in there or you want to associate a specific knowledge record in here, which can assist our team so as to resolve it? Are there any SLAs associated to it? And on the same lines, we have other areas in here, like let's say what are the activities associated to it or the IoT alerts or anything else. Now my case is in identify stage at this moment of time. And if you can see on the top, I have put a lot of buttons out in there. First is save and route. So I have saved this case and do, you, do I want to route it? So usually what happens is in dynamics, we, we can design a routing rule set so, so this routing rule set, what it happens is we would be defining like if a case has, uh, if has an origin of phone call and it is related to this particular product, add this case to a specific queue out in there so that people can pick up, pick this case and can take it ahead. Do you want to create child cases out it here? Do you want to create, add it to a queue? So I am saying let's add it to a queue and the queue name would be, let's say, uh, queue name is demo chat queue or let's say customer service trial I am adding this case to it 
now the executives whosoever are in this queue would be able to see all these cases that this case has been added to their queue for some reason i'm not able to so let's say i add it to default queue so it's it's being added now people in this queue would be able to see uh, like this case has been added to like uh, my queue like uh, demo chat queue no, we have added it to default entity now this case is in my queue now in this queue there could be different members members include like me along with my team member so i i have i have the availability out in there so what i can do is i can go in this queue i can pick it up so now this queue would be associated to mr sumit gupta like whoever has picked it now if we say queue like items i am working on so it would be coming to me now i can work over it and let's say my shift gets over so shift gets over so at the day at the end of the day what i would do is i will drop this queues back to the people so that i will release it so what happens is again it would be associated to the default entity queue and it would be updated that it was it no one is working on this case at this instant of time so anyone from my team can pick up this case and can take it ahead now let's go back to our cases and let's take up few of the other examples like if you want to merge cases so i can merge two cases and it would be showing me like i am going to merge these two cases these cases cannot be merged because these are entirely different type of cases but if the case is of similar type or anything else we can definitely merge these cases all together we can associate other cases as child cases to our existing case which would be helping us to perform an action out in there so now let's we would be discussing more about case queues out in there so what exactly happens is let's take up a like a conventional example so what exactly happens is we would be having a lot of customers out in there the customers include both your contacts and accounts out in there they would be creating a lot of cases in our application now based upon their profiles based upon the type of the account and everything we have routing rules so let the cases be created in our all cases queue all cases entity and what we do is we select all the records and we simply say apply routing rule set based upon the routing rules these cases based upon their customer the configuration the medium through which they have been raised these would be associated to multiple people or would be added to multiple queues let's say gold customer queue silver customers and the customer now once they are in the queue in that the people the executives from that particular queue would be picking up those cases and would be working over it to get it resolved so usually in dynamic crm we have three different types of queue one is public that is this queue would be visible to each and every person out in there that is uh, who like i am the member of a queue or not i would be able to see every item out in there private queue are those in which the queue are visible only to the members of that particular set of members who have been added to it and by default every user would be having having its own personal queue there are certain configurations which needs to be done so these are personal queues let's say i am working on anything and i want it to be added to my queue i can do it from there also now using queues in customer service i just discussed with you like let's say a gold customer has been allocated to a gold queue now a gold queue a cust agent will pick up that case will move to agent's personal queue that is he would just pick up that queue item and would be working over it and then after the resolution there could be two things if he able to resolve it he would update the case as resolved or else if he is not able to resolve it he would be sending it back to the gold queue so that for someone from the team would be able to pick it again and take it ahead for the resolution rather than just taking keeping it with him and increasing or breaching the sls out in there so usually what we do is in dynamic cr we associate the queues directly to the email addresses which are associated to a mailbox so any item which would be coming in the mailbox would be pulled over by dynamic cr but in this queue and then we have few of the rules are available for us so based upon those rules 
these cases these uh, these incoming emails are processed and people are able to work upon it now everything which is being created would be having a which is an associated as a queue item over which different people are work all together to help us to resolve that concern and we can work upon multiple queue items at the same time based upon our availability in there now i have already discussed with you about how you can pick up a case how can you can remove it from your queue and how you can release it pick pick means you would be taking it up it would be assigned to you not assigned to you it would be updated as like this case is being worked upon by mr sumit at this moment of time let's say my shift gets over i would be removing or releasing it back to my team and someone from my team would be picking it up whenever they join the organization back when their shift starts in there so this was all about your case module the service module on a brief yes definitely there is a lot more to cover in the service module like we do have a mobile app specifically for our service module we do have a module specifically for knowledge articles so usually what happens is like i have been always discussing about like in here you are able to see a knowledge article out in there like what are all the knowledge articles which can help you so as to resolve this concern so for that we do have a dedicated module wherein people or the specific people would be creating knowledge articles once those articles are created then it does have its own cycle like it would be draft approved published and once it is published it would be visible to all the people out in there the most important in here is the dashboard that is uh like what are all the cases which are in my queue how many cases i have to resolve or what are the activities which are uh, associated to me and at the same time what exactly happens is we can design and develop multiple other cases based upon our requirement so in my upcoming discussions i would be covering other topics related to the customer service hub specifically for the knowledge articles but for now i would like to show you one most important model driven app that is this one customer service hub we have workspace and it is a module which is more specifically for the people who are working on here that is the agents who are working in it so what usually happens is let's say me being an agent i need to work upon two cases uh, i am like uh, i i am working on this case and at the same time i want to work upon the other case which is which is with uh, another client of mine so what exactly happens is i can this case supports us so as to open multiple sessions out in there multiple sessions means like if you can see in here if i go in home i can open multiple cases and i would be able to pull out multiple information out in there i can switch between two different cases at the same time so at times when executives executives are working upon a chat functionality in dynamics we have an omni channel module i would be covering that specifically in the upcoming discussions with integration so in omni channel this customer service hub plays the most important because in there there would be multiple people with whom a single executive would be chatting upon now if we go to the conventional module what happens is at a time they are able to open a single case but in here they can open up multiple sessions and they can go through multiple content at the same time let's say i am helping you out with this case and i i shared a resolution to you you are working on that resolution on your machine at the same time i am work assisting this customer for the time being so that was all for this day like uh, we have seen how to create a case how to pick up a case how to associate it to a queue how to release it how to see a knowledge material or knowledge article and are just between about the customer service workspace and feel free to get in touch with me for any of your queries or concerns and yes this was just a brief introduction about the customer service module in the upcoming discussions i would be covering a lot of material related to dynamics crm thank you and have a great day ahead